There are a few online whiteboards around specifically for online tuition, and I'm currently using BitPaper. This is mainly because it doesn't require any installation, and since it doesn't use Flash, it can be used on iPads and other tablets. It's also incredibly easy to use. If you can use paper and pens, you can use BitPaper. Now the way it works is I'll give you a link to your own special page, either via Skype or via email, and you just click on it. Or you can copy and paste it into your browser, like so. BitPaper recommends you use Chrome, so that's what I'm doing. The boop 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 means you're connected, and you can see it glues green here. And straight away you can start drawing. Pick a colour, purple, and I'm going to draw some random stick man, I suppose, saying hi. And if we flip over to my page, you'll see I see exactly what you're seeing. Now let's say you want to undo what you just did, you weren't happy with it then you can click the undo button or let's say you ever did the undoing and you can press the redo button if you're a fan of shortcut keys then you can use control Z it does the same thing okay or maybe you might even actually just want to rub stuff out instead for which there's a rubber let's say you're not very comfortable with your writing and you'd rather actually type, then we can do this too. Hello, this is much neater. And we can make it bigger or smaller, how we please. Once it's done, you can move it around. There we go. There's also other functions down here. We've got stars. Let's uh, instead make a yellow star. <laughs> Whatever you like. There we go. It's really quite intuitive. And if you just have a play around with it, you will get really used to it. And learn by doing is basically the best way to go about it with a bit of paper. I don't think you can break it nobody has yet. What I often do is, since you can upload pictures and PDFs, then I will often do that and do a worksheet with you. So here's one I uploaded earlier. It's a bit small, so I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. And I could just ask you some questions and then you could put in the answers. So for example, there is an observed something in the wavelength of light from most distant galaxies, I am going to say increase. There we go. Right. Now you can see my writing isn't exactly fantastic, but it's still legible, I think, and that's because I'm using a writing tablet rather than a mouse. And this is the one I use. You don't have to use it, it's just recommended. What also works well is if you're writing on iPad. And I'm going to just use my snip tool to copy that into my whiteboard so you can see that for yourself. If you want a shiny record of your tutorial, I can export it as a PDF, like so and then send it to you. It'll look something like this. Obviously a real lesson will be a bit more than that, but hopefully this has given you a little bit of an indication about what it's like to use bit paper. I hope this little introduction has been helpful. If you have any questions about online tuition, do contact me via claire at claireturnertutoring.com. Here we go. And thank you for your time.